News 46 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, an accident victim needs your help locating a suspect. Traffic is diverted on the highway. And an act of kindness award is presented to a volunteer. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Yunette Gentry for News 46. Senate Republicans took their first procedural step today towards implementing the nuclear option to get Judge Neil Gorsuch confirmed to the Supreme Court over Democratic opposition when Majority Leader Mitch McConnell moved to end the debate on his nomination. A move on that motion will take place Thursday. Democrats can block ending debate, what's known as a filibuster, by mustering 41 votes against it, which they are expected to be able to do. The family of a victim from a hit and run is asking for the public's help in finding the suspect. The crash happened at 7 a.m. Saturday morning at the intersection of Homestead and Thousand Air. The head-on collision left one man with minor injuries and two people in the other car fled the scene. It's described as a two-door white Ford 2500 early to mid-2000s pickup truck. The victim was driving northbound on Homestead and the suspect vehicle was traveling eastbound on Thousand Air towards Homestead. The pickup truck ran the stop sign and in the process turned the vehicle slamming into the gray passenger vehicle head on. The driver of the two-door white Ford 2500 is described as having dirty blonde hair that is graying and he has tattoos up his arms and neck and was wearing a plain red baseball cap. The lady on the passenger seat has shoulder length dyed black hair and is petite. They fled heading southbound on Homestead after almost hitting another vehicle and couldn't keep the truck on the road. The victim believes it turned left onto Kellogg Road. If you have any information, you're urged to please contact NCSO at 775-727-7500. You'll remain anonymous. And you can contact us here at KPVM TV. If you have any information, that number is 775-727-8500-9400, extension 201. And that number, once again, for the Nye County Sheriff's Office is 775-751-7000. Traffic was blocked on Highway 160 this afternoon for a van that was leaking a large amount of fuel. Front Valley Fire Rescue, Nye County Sheriff's deputies and Nevada Highway Patrol all arrived on scene to Wheeler Pass and Highway 160 for a vehicle that was leaking an extensive amount of fuel. Nye County Sheriff's deputies and Nevada Highway Patrol blocked traffic and diverted vehicles around the scene. Nye County Sheriff's deputies believed that the car could catch fire at any time. Front Valley Fire and Rescue were able to clean up the fuel on the roadway and the car was pushed to the side where it was towed from the scene. No one was injured as a result. The roadway opened shortly after. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. President of the Pahrump Rotary Club, Ryan Muccio, is inviting the public to a fundraiser on the south side of town. So the Rotary Club is sponsoring uh, what we call a third-party fundraiser, uh, meaning we're hosting it, but the funds are not going to Rotary. Uh, they're going to be for Relay for Life this time. So our, our event's being held uh, Saturday, April 8th from 2 to 5 at Sanders Family Winery. Uh, the tickets are $20 each and includes one glass of wine, a special rotary glass that you get to keep, um, hors d'oeuvres, uh, some music, and just a lot of fun. We're going to have a 50-50 raffle, a Chinese auction, a bunch of different things going on. All right, so everybody can come on down. Can they get their tickets ahead of time? Yes, contact any Rotarian or you can call me, 702-672-6559. Again, the tickets are $20. 100% uh, of the proceeds go to American Cancer Society Relay for Life here in Pahrump. Uh, last year, we did something similar and raised about two to $3,000 for them, so it's pretty exciting. And after this break, we'll find out what's happening in this week's court report.